This is amazing because I just got access to the GPT-4 voice chat feature. Let's see how to access it, what are the options, and do a few tests. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. You can access the voice chat feature by tapping on the three dots here at the top, go to settings, under app, tap on new features, and here you can enable the voice conversation feature. We enable it, go back to settings, and under speech, we can select the tone of voice we want. So for example, we have five choices here. We can go with Ember, for example. Hey, I'm ready to hit the ground running. So if there's anything you'd like me to focus on first, just let me know. Or we can go with Cove or Cov. Hi there. I just want to share how thrilled I am to work with you, and I can't wait to get started. So what's the game plan? Let's confirm our selection. And once we go back to the home screen, we should see headphones at the top here. Tapping on the headphones will lead you to the chat and connect you to the chat assistant, where you can have a conversation. Tell me about yourself briefly. Of course. I'm ChatGPT, a virtual assistant based on OpenAI's GPT-4 architecture. I'm designed to help answer questions, provide information, and engage in conversations on a wide range of topics. I'm here to help and chat with you. What would you like to know or discuss today? You can pause the conversation by tapping on pause at any time and continue by pressing play. Here's the fun part. Can you speak in more than one language and respond to it? Yes, I can understand and respond in multiple languages. Whether it's English, Spanish, French, German, Chinese, and many others, I'm here to help. Just let me know which language you'd like to use, or simply start speaking in it, and I'll do my best to assist you. طيب هل تفهم اللغة العربية؟ نعم أفهم لغة لغة العربية ويمكنني الرد بالعربية أيضا. كيف يمكنني مساعدتك اليوم؟ Do you speak Spanish? Sí, hablo español. All right, that has to be really cool. It responds in multiple languages and has a conversation with you in it. Now, as for the features themselves, really, they're pretty much the same as text. The only difference is you can have a voice conversation, use it as a secretary, as a teacher, as an assistant, bounce ideas, and really, there is no limit to what you can do with it. So it's pretty exciting and, and pretty fun to have a conversation with, too. Let's see what OpenAI comes up with next. Have a good one.